Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're going to demonstrate this Blanchard model 22K42 Blanchard rotary surface grinder. Um, this particular machine is wired for 440 volts. It's got some fairly unique features to it I'd like to explain before we start the machine up. Um, 42 inch chuck of course. Um, this is a extended column machine. Um, it's very tall and you can get a 36 inch high workpiece on the chuck under the wheel with a new set of stones when you run the head all the way up in the air which you'll see in some of the pictures. Uh, it also has the Trabon lubrication system which is an option on these machines. Most of the ones that do have this have a manual lever. This has the, it has the controller on it. It's automatic. Um, we don't have air hooked to it right now but it's on a timer and it will lube at a certain interval so the operator doesn't have to worry about forgetting to do it. Um, this lubrication system greases all the important points, the spindle bearings, um, your column ways, your table ways, the up and down motor, a couple other small points on the machine, all the necessary points. Um, also, um, it's equipped with the factory neutrifier, magnet controls for the magnet. Magnet works very well. Go ahead and turn it on. Grab a wrench here, demonstrate. Magnet works very well. There are no dead spots. We've checked it. It also has really good chuck life. One second. The chuck on this machine has a solid three eighths of chuck life on it, which is pretty good. Um, the previous owner has also added a mist removal system to it. Um, that, well, there's a, there's a coolant filter here that, that, that was added by the previous owner and this spray bar that, that, so you could spray coolant across the entire chuck. Normally they just dump straight down. This is easily removed if it's not something you like. I think it's a really good idea. Um, on the end of the machine, they've also added a mist removal system AER brand control systems. Um, these things do uh, develop a lot of mist when you're really hogging parts when they get hot. It's probably a pretty good idea. Um, when you turn the uh, coolant system on for the machine that triggers the automatic rake that this machine al al also has. Um, so the operator doesn't have to clean it. it. Turns on the coolant for the machine and it also activates the mist removal thing all, all with one button. Um, it's all automatic. Um, around back It's got a fairly new gusher pump that was just installed. Um, everything's nice and clean, works as it should. Um, you'll see inside the control panel. Um, we're going to go back around the front. Okay, take a peek in there. Control panel seems to be all original, except for the added uh, mist removal controls. And we'll go ahead and start it up and show you some of the features here. Uh, I'll show you the table speeds first. Go all the way up on the highest speed we're going to start. That's 33 RPM. You don't normally grind this far, but this high, but it's 33 RPM. This is a six speed gearbox. 25 RPM. Sometimes you gotta just jog them a little bit to get them in gear. 18 RPM. Twelve. Nine. Really slow for doing finish work. And then six. Which is just creeping along. <laughs> okay, that's that. Table in and out works as it should. Table stops are set correctly. They have the table out stop set pretty far out. Makes it easier to uh, get your parts off the machine.
It also has a rapid up and down for your head. Chuck should be running while you're doing that because running the chuck is what spins this gearbox, sends the oil up into your feed down unit um, to lubricate everything while you're doing it. You always want to have the chuck running when you run the head up and down. Um, power up. Power down, of course. And you've also have your automatic down feed. I'm going to demonstrate this now before we start the spindle up so you can actually hear it. Set it for just a few thousandths. Pull the lever and it's feeding down because the chuck's running. Even though the spindle isn't running, it doesn't make a difference. When the feed down works, it will feed to zero and then it should, will shut itself off. Like so. Go ahead and start the spindle for you now so you can hear that. That's the spindle, 700 RPM. That's about it. I think I've shown you everything on this machine. Uh, the magnet also does have a, a, a residual and, of course, a DMAG cycle. Let's put it on DMAG now. Um, that's the emergency stop button for the rake. If you have your rake running while the machine's running, something should get caught in it. Even though it moves very slowly, you can always stop the rake. It's really simple. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, it is equipped with a 50 horsepower spindle motor, if I forgot to mention that. Um, that's about it. Original paint. Ready to go. Thanks for watching our video.